Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Primary Animal Healthcare with me, Reverend Veterinarian Dr. Knox. Alright, last week I did a video where I attempted to explain oxytetracycline hashtag teromycin. Alright, guys, um with that video came a bit of confusion for some people, and I thought maybe I should make a follow-up video where I try and explain again what what is it actually that I was trying to say. So on today's video, I'm gonna be naming um, the different products of oxytetracycline that are out there by name. Now, this is not to discredit the products or to say don't use the products or to say the products are bad or whatever, but this is me trying to put the correct information about these products out there and also me trying to remove some of the misconceptions that I'm seeing a lot as a professional out there in the rural areas that these these misconceptions exist and we cannot shy away from them. So we need to talk about them and educate people about these things, All right? This is why I'm making this video, guys. These are good products. These are products that I advocate that each and every rural farmer should have as part of their first aid kit, all right? Injectable after tetracycline are a must-have as a farmer, right? They're available over the counter, then why not? Why not buy them and have them, but use them correctly, understand what you are using, and understand why you are using those products, right? So thank you to everybody who watched my video last week. Thank you to everybody who gave it a thumbs up, and thank you to everybody who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please kindly click that subscription button. It's absolutely free. YouTube won't be charging you, okay? You're just going to help my YouTube channel to grow so that I reach a wider audience. All right, thank you guys. Let's get into it. Guys, all that I'm saying is high tet, ultra tet, maxi tet, teralon, teramycin, and somycin are all made of the same thing. They are all composed of the same thing. They are all one thing. They are all composed of oxytetracycline. So essentially they all do the same thing. But they've got their differences, like I said. All that you have to do is make sure that you understand what you are using, understand what you're doing. Because if I go to a farm and I ask questions and I say, okay, what did you give this cars? And then somebody says to me, no, I gave it Teralon yesterday and I woke up this morning, I gave it Teramycin. That shows me that this person doesn't understand that Teralon and Teramycin are one and the same thing. I, for one, I'm not going to tell you what's my favorite, which one I think works better, or, or I've used um, almost all of them, uh, but and for me, when used correctly, they worked. When used correctly, guys, they worked. All right, so read the package insert. You know, guys, these little papers have a lot of information, right? So I also said last week that they've got differences. Things like you have Maxitet LA, you have Hightet LA, you have Teralon LA, you have Teramycin LA. But then you also have Teramycin, for example, you also have Teramycin 100. Teramycin 100 will not work the same as, um, will not, you will not use it um, the same way as you use uh, Teramycin LA, for example. All right, Teramycin LA will say that you use it once off and then only repeat it after three to five days. Um, for example, and then you've got um, Teralon Teramycin 100. Sorry, you've got Teramycin 100 that you have to repeat daily. You understand? You have to repeat daily. So if you are buying um, Teramycin 100 and you inject it once off and you don't repeat it tomorrow, then your animal doesn't get better. Then you say Teramycin didn't work. No, it's not that Teramycin didn't work, it's that you didn't use it correctly. You didn't use it the right way. So guys, let's read and learn to use these medicines the right way. So guys, the high, the, the, the high test, the ultra test, the max test, the Teralon, the Teramycin, and the Somycin LA, most of them are recommended to only be repeated after 72 hours if the animal is still not better. And then the rest, the ones that don't have LA written in them, for example, teramycin um, uh, 100, like I said, or maxitet 13.5, or other things, or just somycin. Some people just write somycin, you don't write anything next to the box. But as long as it doesn't have the LA, then you know that this one must be repeated daily. You must, you must give for at least three to five days. Some of them even differ with which species. They'll say for cattle, give it three to five days. Then they'll say for um, for, for sheep, give it as, uh, as much and give it until the animal is better, such things. So just read the package insert, guys. 
um, most of the headsmen, they cannot read in the rural area. So they depend on you as the owner of these animals to sit down with them and clearly explain to them how to use these medicines that you are buying and leaving there for them to use when you're not there, right? So most people just buy these things and then they leave them there with the headsmen. I get there, I talk to the headsmen, I ask what happened, what did you do? And then I see that the, hus the husband doesn't understand. He didn't understand. He was given Maxi 13.5 and he saw that, okay, because they've been working with these animals for long, he saw the goat kicking and stuff, and he saw that you know, this pot potentially a hard butter. Then he gave it, he gave the goat four meal of the Maxi Tet, um, 13.5 and then he left the goat, right? Then after three days, call the vet office and be like, yes, doctor, my, my goat, this and this is sick. We injected it with Maxitet, it's not getting better. I go to the farm, I ask which Maxitet did you use? And then they give me Maxitet 13.5 and ask how often did you use it? And then they say, no, once off. You see, now that's a problem. Because if you are using Maxitet 13.5, you need to repeat the treatment. If you give it on day one, you must give it on day two and day three. And that way, by the third day, probably the goat will be up and running, guys. That's just it, but you need to keep these things properly and the right way and use the right dosage. That's all that I'm here to preach today. Um, I think I still owe you guys a video explaining the dosages and stuff like that. I'll try and make a quick video um, during the week where I explain, just two minute video where I explain the dosages for your teramices. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for liking my video. So if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and I really appreciate you. Thank you, bye!